Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So another talking video for you today. I promise you this is going to be the last red video you see for at least a week. Because the next video is going to be a really general, broad, family-friendly, G-rated blue video. So stay tuned for that. What I want to talk about today is the scourge of Karen's in our society and I want to give you a piece of advice that I myself am trying to master and basically it's that you should never be mad at a person that you would never want to be. Do you ever find yourself getting upset or irritated by somebody who is doing a lot of Karening? What a Karen is for anybody who doesn't know it's a meme and some people take offense to the meme but I think it's a relatively heartless meme and quite accurate of people who are very uh, hyper-focused and easily irritated by very trifling, trivial, and things which are very insignificant in the grand scheme of things. You probably know some of these people. They're basically shit disturbers. They like to drum up drama when there shouldn't be drama. They're those people that you work with who are always trying to give you shit or get on your case or looking over your shoulder, trying to micromanage what you're doing. And you feel like you're walking on eggshells around these people. That's a Karen. Someone who is a self-certified authority figure, officer, who is there to police all of the things that you do that don't need policing. That's what a Karen is. I'm going to tell you the truth about Karens today because remember... You don't want to be mad at these people. Never be mad at people you don't want to be. There's no better harbinger of the end of days than the Karen. How is it that somebody can have all of their base physiological needs met, but none of their psychological needs met? That's what a Karen is. A Karen is somebody who has everything they need to be happy in this world and to survive, but instead is miserable. There's a lot of people in our society who just don't have the love and attention that they need to have a fulfilled life. The last few generations have become increasingly more entitled. And unfortunately, that's a sign of the end of our civilization, is that people feel that things should be a certain way just because they exist. They don't feel that they should have to put in any work you know, to get these results. In a lot of ways, I think that many of these people feel powerless in their own lives, and that's why they have to, you know, try to boss other people around. But don't get mad at them. The last thing you want to do is engage in an argument with a Karen, because you're not going to beat them at logic. When they go out Karening in the world, they are running on adrenaline and emotion. You're never going to be able to beat them at an argument. You're never going to be able to reason with them. The best approach you can really take is to just pity these people in the moment. Because remember, you probably don't want to be them. A lot of them are either depressed, you know, they're a stone's throw away from breaking down in tears. Uh, many of them, uh, based on I've seen in the videos, they're either out of shape or they're alone. And if they are with a, a significant other, that the significant other doesn't want to be around them or is trying to distance himself from them, either physically or emotionally within these videos. Maybe their partner is codependent. Who knows what the case is? A lot of them are divorced. Um, just people who are just unhappy. And that's the result of the consumerism of the West. You know, there was a time when if you wanted something to work, you had to make it work. You know, you couldn't just go and buy another one. And we live in a disposable society right now. And Instead of dealing with these emotions as they arise, a lot of people instead uh, jump on some sort of a psychological crutch, like a drug, either uh, narcotics, you know, illicit drugs, or prescribed over-the-counter psych psychiatric medication instead of confronting their emotions and working through their stuff. For the record, there's just as many male Karens as there are female Karens. Uh, with males, it typically manifests as a road rage type event, you know, or something like that where you get pissed off at something you just ought not to be pissed off at. It's just not worth it. The returns, the return on your investment of time and energy is just not there, you know. So there's, it's not a female thing strictly. It's a male and female thing. The best thing you can do in a Karen confrontation 
is not get emotional, not raise your voice, don't do anything that is going to escalate the situation, okay? Just focus on the technicals about what is going on. Focus on the provables of what's going on. You're going to be mad. You're going to be frustrated because you're going to be like, why the hell is this person doing this to me? But if you keep your cool, chances are, if not in the moment, after Karen leaves and goes about her way, she's going to feel even worse about herself. And, you know, rightfully so if she just, you know, randomly decides to berate somebody for no good reason. It's unfortunate that most of them are probably not going to see the error of their ways in the moment, even when you are yielding and you are sympathetic to their sorry life that they lead. But that's just how it is. You're not going to change the world. You're not going to change their mind in the moment. But use it as an opportunity to test yourself. To, because if you can stay technical and not get emotionally wrapped up in a Karen's whirlwind, you will win. You will win 99 times out of 100. Right when you get emotional, and even if you try to, you, you don't want to try to argue with them facts, because it won't work. You're just stating your point, you're stating your piece, and if they if they persist, and you know, obviously if they put your hands on you, you defend yourself. I've seen many videos of people defending themselves against Karen physically, and you know, sometimes, Karen, you, you poke the bear long enough, you know, you're going to get the claws. They just think that, you know, nothing bad can ever happen to them because they've lived this entitled lifestyle where, you know, they have the whole legal system basically at their back and they don't have to be accountable for anything they do. There was a time in the world where you didn't have the whole system at your back to defend your bullshit and your misbehavior, which is basically what we have now in the world. Even, you know, with kids that act out, or people who act out, we make up excuses for these people instead of letting them get checked on their shit. There was a time when the Karens of the world, they wouldn't do the things they do because they would get their ass kicked. They would immediately be checked on it because there was a time when you had to be responsible for yourself, where you had to you know, reap the immediate consequences of your actions because there wasn't this legal system of you know, threats of being sued or whatever the case might be of retaliating. Or just this sense of entitlement that a lot of people have nowadays. Nowadays, it's different. But one of the greatest things about having my own business is that I don't have to put up with people's crap anymore. And I'm going to make damn sure that as I go deeper into this uh, CanadianPreparedness.com business, that that sort of toxic behavior will never be tolerated in my workplace. I don't want to hear about other people. I don't want to gossip about other people. Even if those people happen to be assholes, I have absolutely no time and no patience for petty, trifling bullshit. And I don't know how people have the time to do it. That's why I pity these people, because I would hate to be in a place where I had nothing better to do with my time but try to find something wrong with somebody that in the grand scheme of things, it is insignificant, okay? So pity the Karens. Don't be mad at people you don't want to be. I got to keep repeating that because you're going to get yourself into an altercation. You're going to find yourself arguing with somebody who is probably just jealous or envious of something about you they don't like. That's usually what starts it. I think that is the bane of the Karen. If they see something about you that either they don't like within themselves and it's easier for them to criticize you about their own shortcomings or it's because there's something about you that they desperately want in their life and they can't have it. So they're mad. They're mad as hell and they ain't going to take it anymore, but not in a good way. So yes, this scourge of Karens are foreshadowing the end of civilization as we know it. I do believe that. And I got to say again, a Karen is not just the middle-aged soccer mom. A Karen can be a disgruntled, passive-aggressive kid throwing a fit because he his parents didn't give him what he wanted. Or somebody who goes and fills a school full of holes because they were bullied and they were never taught how to stand up for themselves. And have control over their emotions that's what a lot of this is 
So I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I'm perfect and I don't have, you know, road rage moments, but they are becoming fewer and farther in between as I get older. And I think I'm getting better at this because always keep that in mind. If somebody is riding your ass for something, which is total bullshit, those people probably have a shitty, boring existence and you should never, ever, ever take it personally. It has nothing to do with you as a person, if anything, you should take it as a compliment because what they're saying is, hey, there's something about you that I wish I had that I don't have and I'm mad at you for that. So this is what I'm going to pick up about you. So I'm going to point the finger at you because it's easier than changing my own behavior. And that's a trap that a lot of people fall into in this life, man. I was in that trap for a long time where I was trying to find somebody to blame for my situation. It's their fault. It's that institution's fault. It's this, 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 and this. And until you take 100% responsibility for your life, nothing, and I say nothing, will fundamentally change. And one of the last things you want, one of the worst things you can do for a person is, and one of the most devilish things, if I was a religious person, is the proverbial handout. That's the worst thing you could ever do to a person is give them a handout. Not only does it insult their intelligence, but it basically puts them in a situation whereby they do not have to struggle to, to get ahead. And you, when you deprive somebody of that, you make them dependent on your generosity. You've basically ensured that they're never going to grow as a person. So anyways, I'm getting off into something else. I'm running out of reel here. Stay tuned, guys. We've got a big video coming up on Sunday all about the wonderful world of everything you should look for in choosing your survival gear for before and after SHTF. Thanks for watching, guys. Canadian Prepper out. The best way to support this channel is to support yourself by gearing up at CanadianPreparedness.com your one-stop shop for premium, high-quality, brand-name products that have been tried and tested by myself and other YouTube gear reviewers. My subscribers save 10% off by using the coupon code SURVIVALPREPPER. All one word, in all caps.